Today we're going to talk about the difference between different types of salaries. So we have a regular salary that you always think of, an owner's draw if you are the owner, and then a distribution. So as a bookkeeper, you should have a general familiarity with these different types of businesses and different ways of people getting paid because you are likely going to have to interact with payroll or something similar at some point. All right, so we're going to start with the first basic step of comparing a business owner to an employee, to someone who works for a larger company. And I have my two little visual aids here. So this person represents owner. This is someone who started as a sole proprietor or an LLC. And then this is someone who works for Starbucks. So they do not own the business, Starbucks owns the business, but they are an employee of Starbucks. And then once we talk through the nuances of these two things, we are going to say, what if you own a corporation? What if you are the owner of Starbucks? How do you get paid then? You get paid with distributions and a salary. So first of all, we are going to just keep these two basic things separate. All right, and the first thing we're gonna talk about is business structure. So I kind of already mentioned, if you are a sole proprietor or an LLC, this is when you are going to be taking owner's draws, okay? So it's just these two types of businesses that take owner's draws. And if there is some kind of salary involved, then you are a corporation. And I always do feel the need to kind of give a disclaimer. I am not accountant, I'm not a lawyer. There are definitely nuances with a bunch of different types of businesses. There's like partnerships, there's other things going on. I'm trying to just give you like a general overview so you can kind of understand the basics as a bookkeeper. But please consult a specialist if you do want specific business advice about your business. And as always, let me know in the comments if I said something a little bit incorrect correct if I got one of these little pieces slightly wrong I would love to know that okay so let's go back to our business owner let's say it is me as a bookkeeper I work as a contractor for all of my clients and then if you work for a corporation then you are an employee so that is a different distinction an employee or a contractor and as an employee or a contractor what tax documents do you do as a contractor you get a 1099 at the end of the year from anyone who gave you money who paid you and as an employee you get a w-2 that tells your income for the year all right and then how are you actually paid like how is money getting into your bank account so if you own your business then you take owner's draws this can definitely be as simple as just transferring money from your business bank account into your personal bank account that's what i do and then we're going to talk about next how to categorize that within QuickBooks but owner's draws are very easy they're very flexible you can do different amounts depending on how much your business made that year so you can transfer you know $500 or you can transfer like $10,000 it doesn't really need to be a fixed amount it can change based on you know how much money you made and we're gonna get deeper into the taxes but just as an overview taxes are not taken out when you do an owner's draw yet so when you do that transfer from your business bank account to your personal bank account it is just that it's just a simple transfer no taxes are involved yet I am Morgan my website is finepoints.biz I have a free masterclass about how to get bookkeeping clients if you're interested in checking that out and lots more bookkeeper resources I'd love it if you give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel if you want all right now let's talk about our employee how do they get paid they get paid through some kind of payroll process there's definitely more to this payroll process than just the owner's draw so as you know employees can be either paid hourly or they can be paid a salary that is fine and both of those will go through payroll so as a bookkeeper I use a payroll company you can also do more manual payroll but as part of that payroll process taxes are taken out Social Security Medicare often if your employer is providing benefits there's a benefits part taken out there and typically you're paid at regular interest intervals so you're paid either every two weeks or once a month and there's a few more steps involved it's not just a transfer from bank account to bank account there's a whole payroll system that's happening all right now let's talk a little bit about taxes remember I'm not a tax preparer I'm not an expert I'm a bookkeeper who has had both these types of businesses and worked with clients with these types of businesses so if you're the owner of an LLC you are required to pay taxes on your business income which probably is not a surprise and in most cases, you are going to want to pay your taxes quarterly. So I have two other videos all about quarterly taxes. That was actually the inspiration for this video. I was trying to quickly explain these different types of payments and I thought a dedicated video would be helpful. So you are taxed on the net amount your business makes regardless of how many owner's draws you take out. They don't really care how much money you're transferring into your own bank account. The IRS just cares what was the profit of your business and then they take a percentage of that. So there is a lot more to this, it depends on you know what business expenses you have what your household income is what your tax bracket is what state you're in all that stuff so watch the dedicated video about that if you want to know more about quarterly taxes but just know that if you're a business owner 
and you're taking those owner's draws, you need to pay quarterlies, assuming that you make a certain amount of money. Okay, and what if you're an employee of Starbucks? You don't really have to worry that much about taxes. Taxes are automatically taken out of your paycheck. And most of us have probably experienced this. You need to take a certain amount of deductions when you first start your job. So you put a number in a box and that tells the IRS how much taxes you want taken out. And then at the end of the year for both of these actually, if you paid too much in taxes, you're gonna get a refund. If you did not pay enough, you're gonna owe some money in taxes. And let's talk about how these owner's draws and salary affect the bottom line of your business. So as an LLC, as an owner, you kind of think of your owner's draws as an expense, like it's costing your business money, but really the IRS does not think of it as a tax deductible expense. So your owner's draws don't help reduce your taxable income. And in a way that kind of makes sense because really your, your taxes are being paid paid by how much profit your business makes. So it doesn't really matter how much you're taking out. You could take all of it out of the bank account. You could take none of it out of the bank account. It doesn't really matter. But for a corporation, payroll is an expense to the business. So all those wages that they are paying their employees is an expense to the business, it is making the total income, the total profit of the business go down. It's an expense. And then we're gonna talk about next. That is why some people, if they're the owner of a business, they want to switch from an LLC and become the owner of a corporation because then their salary is an expense to the business. So at a certain dollar amount, it is going to to be more tax beneficial to switch from an LLC to an S Corp maybe and pay yourself a salary. And this is something that a tax person and accountant can help you figure out exactly when that makes sense. But we're gonna talk about that in just a second. We're almost done with our two different business types. All right, then in QuickBooks, how do we want to record these owner's draws versus salary? <laughs> All right, so if you're the business owner, your owner's draw is recorded as equity, meaning it's money you took out of your own business. And if you're doing payroll with that corporation, there's a few categories you're gonna be using in QuickBooks. You wanna do a little more research on this, but basically the wages are going to be an expense to the business. A lot of things are going to be an expense. You're gonna have a couple liabilities, which just means you're like holding on to some money for a little bit until it paid in taxes. It's not actually money that you're, the business still owns, but for the most part, those salaries are a business expense, which is helpful because we want more expenses in our business really because it makes the income go down, which means we have to pay less taxes. All right, and a question I get from business owners is, should I pay my taxes out of my business account or out of my personal account? And the answer is it really doesn't matter. I tend to pay my taxes out of my business account just because the money is sitting there more. But if you do that, just make sure you categorize it correctly. Make it clear that it is taxes. I make my own category for like, state taxes and then federal taxes because it just helps with organization at the end of the year so you can tell how much you've paid and then also make it an equity account. But if you prefer to just take all those owner's draws and then pay it out of your personal bank account, that's fine too. So then let's go into distributions and what those are. So you can take me, for example, I was an LLC bookkeeper and then once I reached a certain income, my accountant was like, you should be an S Corp and give yourself a salary. So now I run payroll on myself. I am the only only employee of my business and I have a few contractors that work for me but I am the only employee of my business so now I own a corporation it's a very tiny corporation but it is a corporation and again there's different types of corps there's S corps C corps I think there's partnership corporations so you can look into those if you would like more detail but the main thing you need to know about an owner of a corporation is they take both a salary and an owner's draw which is now called a distribution and it kind of follows the same patterns and rules that I already talked about you're just doing Doing both at the same time. So the payroll is you give yourself a salary. It has to be a reasonable salary. So for the amount of time that you work in whatever industry you're in, it has to be like, what could you pay someone if they were doing your job? So you can't be paying yourself either too much or too little. And then usually people try to give themselves a little bit of a lower salary. And then the rest of the money that they take out of their business, they take out in owner's draws or distributions, I should say. And because of how the different things are taxed, they there is going to be a ratio that your professional can help you figure out, but usually your salary is smaller and then your owner's draws are a little bit bigger. So you need a K1 that tells you how much the business made and then the owner still does get a W2 on their paycheck that they're taking. You still need to pay some quarterly taxes based on your business income. Some other taxes are also being taken out so it gets a little more complicated, but a tax preparer can help you figure out how much quarterlies to pay. And the rules are the same for the equity and the expense, your payroll, 
is an expense, your owner's draws are still equity. All right, so that I think is everything I can think about to explain to you about payroll and the experiences I've had in payroll. So let's chat in the comments if you have questions. I can't answer specific questions about your exact situation. Most likely I can answer general questions about payroll.